This is trivia for trade-ups. The premise is simple. Two of my viewers will be 1v1ing in a private match, and every time one of them wins a round, I'll ask them a trivia question. If and only if they get the question right, they get a point. And every time they get a point, they get to do a trade-up with the inputs supplied by me. The first person to five points wins, and each level gets increasingly more difficult. But that also means the trade-ups will get more and more expensive. This is the final episode of the first round. I decided to make this a tournament. As you can see, this is just the fourth match, and by the way, each round of the tournament the rarity of the trade-ups will increase. Round 1 is all mil-spec to restricted trade-ups, the semi-finals is restricted to classified trade-ups, and the two lucky winners who make it to the finals will have a shot at 5 insane classified to covert trade-ups. Make sure to join my Discord server with the link in the description to have the chance to take part in future videos and to enter our weekly skin giveaways. Let's get into it. Today's sponsor, GamerPay, wants to sponsor you with a free 5 euros on your first 50 euro deposit. GamerPay is an extremely trustworthy peer-to-peer -peer skin trading website where you can find some of the cheapest CS2 skins on the market. Take a look at this MAC-10 Fade, for example. Currently, the cheapest one is on GamerPay. GamerPay has no buying fee and only a small 3% selling fee, and you can even sell your skins on a trade lock. What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to claim your free 5 euros today. Alright, welcome to Trivia for Trade-Ups. How are you guys doing? Yo, I'm doing good. Thank you. Sweet. Yeah. Um, yeah, but before we get into it, you guys just want to quickly introduce yourselves one by one. Okay, you go first, Juno. Oh, okay, I'll go first. Yeah, my name is Juno. Uh, I've been playing Counter-Strike since 2016. And yeah, I haven't done this kind of thing before, so I'm actually really excited to try it out. And I'll do my best. Would be a good time. Yeah. Okay, I am uh, Timmy. But you can call me Booty in game. I'm Booty Hunter for 269. Uh, I come from Slovenia. I'm uh, 21 years old. And I play, I'm a fairly new CS2 player. So let's see how it turns out. Alright, so you're at the automatic disadvantage. No, it's not disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, wait, okay. wait, how long did you say you've been playing, Juno? Uh, 2016. Wow. Okay, 2016 versus two months ago gonna talk in your ears the whole time distract you both My eye! no what the f I'm gonna read you yep. your first question it's gonna start easy okay. all right yeah, easy. Yeah. what game engine does CS2 run on uh, the source engine Yes, that is correct, but can you be like a little bit more specific? If you okay, know. More specific. Yeah. Uh, but wait, Source 2. Yes, engine. yes, correct. All right, that is what right. I was looking okay. for. Okay, okay. They're going to the number. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Got it. I will send you the inputs to the first trade-up right now. The first trade-up consists of four minimal air blues from the fracture case and six field tested blues from the revolver case below a 0.15 average flow. This trade-up costs around 96 cents total and has a 133.33% profitability after steam fees with a 64.29% chance to profit each time. All of the revolver skins are profitable with the best outcome being the minimal wear Negev power loader which is worth around $3.50. Okay, three, two, one. Ah, that was that was the worst one, right? That's yeah. horrible. All right, well, L luck. Um, it's all good though. Round two. There's only one site, right? I think I'm gonna plan B though. Damn. Playing like a rat. Yeah, the I rat play. Too, yeah. I was just gonna say. <laughs> First question for you. Ooh. I forgot there's questions, bro. <laughs> yeah, you still have to answer questions as well. You can't just win. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think you'll get this one. Let's see. Name two of the five maps that were just added to the game. There were just five oh, added, like last week. Oh, so shit. Memento, that airplane map, but I don't know the name of it. Uh, Mills. Uh, there you go. That's already two. Memento and Miss. Okay. Alright, before you do it, let me just remind you. The best item is the Negev Power Loader, worth 350. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worst is the Brother, but as long as you hit the Revolver Case, it's yeah. over a dollar. Okay. So let's go. Tech 9, Brother. 
<laughs> in three, <laughs> two, oh, one. Oh, he's juking it. He's juking oh, smart, oh. smart. Yeah, bro, Ooh, that's reverse good. That's psychology. Worth, that's third best. That's third best. That's worth a dollar fifty. That's good. Let's go. It's actually clean, bro. I'm gonna use that. Not gonna lie. Yes, I love sure. it. I flashed myself. I hope you're not sitting in that rack corner again. Oh, I'm gonna clear it this time. <laughs> What the? Ooh. Bro! That you was lagging bad. You should have yeah, seen on my that. screen. Game uh. froze on my screen as well. <laughs> Question number two for you. What weapon does the most damage per bullet in CS2? You, you can think uh, about it. AVP? It is the off. Correct. Okay. The second trade up consists of seven minimal wear blues from the Spectrum case and three field tested blues from the 2018 Nuke collection below a 0.1272 average float. This trade up costs around $2.30 total and has a 106.49% profitability after Steam fees with a 77.27% chance to profit. There are only two loss outcomes here, but of the six profitable ones, the best are the Factory New Aug Random Access and the Factory New Galil Crimson Tsunami. Are you guys yeah, ready? Galil. Yep. We're ready, right. it down. Uh, three, two, one, max seven, let's go. Oh, that's that's not bad, it's still three dollars. Yeah, that's nice. That's good. Yeah, I should have hit, I should have hit Negev uh, the previous contract, bro, like. Yeah. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Scared? I'm, I'm pissing my pants right now. <laughs> Oh. Will Booty make it 3-1 with the question? Ready? Yeah. Yep. What is the highest competitive rank you can have in CS2? Competitive rank. I know in CSGO it was Global Elite. Mm-hmm. Uh, but now I have no idea. Competitive, not Premier. Yes. Yeah, I have no idea because I haven't played competitive at all, and I'm silver, so... Um... Well, who knows if they changed it or not, but I will need an answer. You don't have like A, B, or C, because I saw in <laughs> some previous video you have <laughs> Not yet, not yet. <laughs> not, uh, not later. That is later. Well, there is no global... Elite anymore, right? Master. Five minutes later. Sergeant or something? I don't know. Brother. I will say. I would recommend at least saying a rank that you're sure exists or has ever existed instead of coming up with a okay, global random. elite. <laughs> that is the answer. No so, way! <laughs> so no it's, way! It didn't change it, dude. It didn't change it. Didn't change it. I, my friend told me, like, they change it in Premiere or something, and I was like, I thought there's no more of that rank. Maybe that was too good of a hint, but I just didn't want you yeah. to come up with some random thing. <laughs> Master Sergeant. <laughs> yeah, like, Master Adam. Sergeant. <laughs> the third trade up consists of six Stat Trek Minimal Wear Blues from the Danger Zone case and four Stat Trek Field Tested Blues from the Chroma case below 0.1396 average flow. This trade up costs around $4 total and has a 102.99% profitability after Steam fees, with a 34.78% chance to profit each time. Every Chroma outcome is profitable with the best being the Stat Trek Factory new Mac 10 Malachite worth nearly nine dollars. Okay, three, two, one, danger zone. Let's go. We want Chroma. <laughs> nah, but still, bro. it's uh, reverse I mean, psychology. Yeah, brother. I mean, it doesn't matter if it works, but this skin is actually sick. I'm yeah, probably not gonna I even like sell it. Okay, I do it's. Like that skin. It's not the one I thought, but it's still sick as fuck. Down. That flash okay. was actually good. <laughs> nice oh, shot. Yeah. 
the next question to make it 3-2 what type of grenade in CS2 temporarily blinds enemies uh, flashbang yeah it was ironic because you were just talking about the flash and that was the next question up <laughs> okay. that is correct you are hoping to see the factory new Galil Crimson Tsunami or the AUG random access, but there are only two bad outcomes, which are the Ump Scaffold and the Mag 7 Core Breach. Seven. So, let's see. You don't want the Mag 7 or the Ump, that's it. Okay, okay, okay. AUG or Galil, AUG or Galil. Gotcha. Alright, three. Good luck, brother. Two, one. Shit. Go. <laughs> Oh, sh oh, yeah, wait, that was the best. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No way I hit that. All right, this might be a tough one if you're new, but we will see. Which knife is only featured in one case? A, the falchion knife. B, the classic knife. C, the Huntsman Knife, or D, the Shadow Daggers? I think the Classic Knife. That is correct. No way. Because I, I seen the other knives, uh, like, uh, I seen the other knives in other cases, because I was trying to open some cases, but I ended up not opening, because gambling and all that. The fourth trade up consists of four Stat Track Factory new blues from the Kilowatt case and six Stat Track Minimal Wear blues from the Revolution case below a 0.07 average float. This trade up costs around $5 total and sadly has below a 100% profitability after Steam fees right now since I planned these trade ups a few weeks ago. That's okay though, Juno and Booty don't care since they're getting these for free. This trade up has a 52% chance to profit and the best outcomes are the Stat Track Factory new M4ONS M4 Asaurus and the Stat Track Factory new M4A4 Etchlord, each worth just under 9 I, I would be hoping for kilowatt if I were you. I'm hoping for whatever, because it's free, so let's go. Three, two, one. Ooh, that's good. Let's go. That's seven bucks. Let's go. Match point. Game on the line. Will Juno clutch? Meanwhile. You know you have to plant, right? Wow, Let's good go. fight, it. good fight. Match point if you get this correct, but don't expect it to be an easy question. Which of these four skins is not red rarity? A, Op Osimov. B, Desert Eagle Prince Dream. C, M4A4 Poseidon. D, AK-47 Bloodsport. Okay, so AK-47 Bloodsport. Um... He's, he's Googling it right now. So I know Desert Eagle. I'm pretty sure it is because I watched some video. And Poseidon, I don't even know the skin. I never seen it. Uh, then was Bloodsport, and what was the first skin? Awesomeov, Op Awesomeov. I will go with Op Awesomeov. The answer is M4A4 Poseidon. Yeah, oh. I knew it. The only the, the oh. skin I didn't know it was between those two. Yeah, it's oh, a shit, super expensive skin. It's just a pink. Ooh. Let's go. Another chance to end the game. Are you ready? Yeah. What map features the call out Mexico? Is it A, Ancient, B, Dust 2, C, Inferno, or D, Vertigo? Vertigo, Inferno. Mm. I never. I played like uh, Face It a bit, 
and uh, Premier, but I never heard Mexico, brother. I play all four maps. Are you sure that's right? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure Juno Mexico. knows the answer, actually. Yes, too. I think I do, actually. Uh, it's a common call out, but I mean, some people call it something by, else, too. Yeah. By comparing the maps, how maps look, I would go with Inferno, but I have no idea which map it is, so. I have, like, no idea. But Inferno mm. looks like Mexico a bit, I guess, the closest to it, so... Oh, I have almost low battery. Yeah, I'll go with Inferno. Inferno final answer? Mm. Well, I don't know what's the answer, so I'll just go with my gut here, like, what looks the most like Mexico. Okay, the answer was... Inferno! Got Let's go! Fuck! <laughs> yeah, good win with your gut, man. Alright, I'll send you the final trade up right now. The fifth and final trade up of the video consists of four Stat Track Factory new blues from the Chroma 3 case and six Stat Track Minimal Wear blues from the Operation Broken Fan case below a 0.07 average float. This trade up costs around $10 total and has a 114.96% profitability with a 68% chance to profit each time. Every Broken Fang outcome is insane, all of which being worth over $13, but the Stat Track Factory new Op Exoskeleton is easily the best, sitting at just under $30 right now. You wanna do it? Yeah, you got it. You count, count out this time, you count out me? this time. Me? Yes. Alright, alright. Bring me the luck, the streamer luck. Alright, good luck, brother. Three, two, one. Go. Oh, Pasimo! Oh, that's still good! Let's go! That's What's... $17. Damn, that's nice. Yes, sir. Star Trek Factory New. $17. I never seen this skin, actually. It's a nice skin, man. Yeah, it is, bro. And Thank you, so much. you know what, Juno? Just for sticking around, being a good sport, I'm gonna send you both of the other trade ups that you could have gotten. Oh shit! Thank you so much, man. Good luck, bro. Best luck with you. Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's it. That's, that's it. Good. That's the chroma. Seven dollars, brother. Got the first one. Oh yeah. yeah. And that's actually clean, bro. That is that's clean. Shit. Star Trek minimal wear. Let's go. Well, the odds were in my favor in the game, but hopefully it is here. <laughs> yeah, let's go. So, three, two, one, boom. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> that was go. the fucking best one. Yes, sir. Let's, let's go. go. At least I had let's luck go. here, man. Congrats, bro. That's a good way to end it off. Yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied with that, actually. Let's go. Yeah. I'm good. Well, do you guys have any final words? Thank you so much, both of you, for playing, for real. Thank yeah, you man. for this uh, opportunity, man. It's yeah. really a honor to me. Because, like, yeah. not much is happening in my life right now except, like, gaming due to my condition uh, in health. Uh, so, like, this really made me happy. I'm glad to hear it, bro. Yeah. I'm very glad to I'm hear happy it. happy for you, dude. And you got good luck. I'm glad. Yeah, like, thanks, man. When you count down, yeah. it was the best skin I got. True, true, true. I gave you the luck, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you both. Right. I hope you guys had a good time, and I appreciate yeah. it. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet, so go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.